of the month of February 2017. Whew, two months gone already. I can see you scratching your head because you're yet to start to work on your New Year's resolutions. Well, don't worry. There are 10 more months to go, so start working now, and hopefully it will be all falling in place for you. Good morning. Welcome to Joy News Interactive here on Joy News on your multi-TV as well as Go TV channel 144 and DSTV channel 421. Social media handles are at Joy News on Facebook and on Twitter. Social media goes... Now, social media goes agog with a seeming be between Shatawale and Yapuno. Today, we commemorate the 28th February crossroads shootings, and we are asking you to tell us the name of the soldier who led the troop and was killed. And what do you have on your wish list? Get interactive on social media. Join news on TV. I am Miss G, the Entertainment General, and I'm ready to serve it sizzling hot. First off, Ghana music industry has seen some verbal or lyrical wars in time past, from Nene Champon and Daddy Lumba through to Shatawale and Samini. Now it's Yapono beefing. Yes, that's the term for it, Shatawale. Report says this happened because Shatawale didn't allow Yapono to perform when they went to the Cape Coast concert. Yapono afterwards dead Shatawale with what has become known as, if you like, saving. The song has been released by both artists, and our question is, are these beefs healthy? Let's go to Facebook to hear what you're telling us about the industry beefs that we are confronted with these days. So here's a picture of Shatawale and also Yaponu for those of you who do not know them on your screens. And both of them are musicians. Uh, Shatawale is a dancehall musician. Yaponu does uh, more of hip life as a rapper as well. And so... That's the beef ongoing now in the industry. The two are beefing, like we, put, we say. King Garazo say beefs are good for putting arrogant, disrespectful people in their rightful place. I'm surprised this person called Shatawale, with all his silly childish runs, still gets airplay and is paid to shows. Ghana turning into a shameful ground for such people. And also, it's healthy if the punchlines are in a professional way, like manifest. And But how Shatawale, they do their umami bibi no. Nonsense, no dear. Nah. The beef self show pure jealousy, but just that you know it destroyed the hard work you worked for and also makes them uh, forget that things are meaningless. After all, both of them are still Ghanaian artists, not any serious artists like Drake and uh, Jay-Z. Bring out the creativity in the artist without the use of vulgar words. Sakodia tried but manifest killed it. It's part of the culture. It's best when it's face-to-face -face battle since some artists employ ghostwriters. And um, please, this post is not what we need now, okay? And uh, we expect you to, okay, we'll give you feedback on a lot of things. Beefing here and there is something I see. It's like prestige. The most popular ones enjoy this kind of militant behavior just what it's just it's some of them they are moved to the front okay all right i move on and uh, beef of the year yapono versus shatawale shata movement uh if you like say fin hashtag say uh fin hashtag konubium hashtag Faster than God. And uh, at Manifestive says, apart from Sack versus Manifest Beef, all the others are Salmon Kai. And I think fish is more healthy in the music industry than beefs, of course. And Shatawale has now become the path through which, if your career is dead, you can breathe it into life. SM for life. And uh, Prince Nirudin Balmia says, very interesting. Yes, it's trending on all social media. They should cease fire, period. And always be fear, be there. When will they be sardine amongst other two, uh, amongst two people beef is healthy it reshapes the rhythmic flow outside the regular it is all entertainment definitely it is beef 
these are equally a source of entertainment to we the fans so we can continue and Kofi Amwa says, Amwa Fa says, yes, it's good for the industry. I hope it goes on throughout the year. And Harry says, you people costed. And uh, you people here asking what if it's good for healthy for the industry. And um, this is in tree. I'm not sure my shoe is that good, so I'm not sure I can read it. Beefing here and there is something I see. Okay, we've read this one before. Remember Sack and Manifest says, uh, call. And uh, Nyami Francis says, it's good for our music industry. And Adam Razak says, of course, I'm enjoying the beef, Papa. And Beef and Healthy says, Akutia, let's try fish, perhaps. And Beef makes the game industry uh, interesting. Benabu. And Benabu is a song that... Um, uh, Poyapuno put together after Shatawale released his. And so if you see the, the cover of that song, you see something that looks like, a picture that looks like that of Shatawale with Egbe Nabo. So basically for those who don't understand, Egbe Nabo is the dog's mouth. Okay, so um, Abawa Ruse won't help if our industry needs to grow. And uh, CA Duo says, leave uh, Kidi thinks so. Of course, beefs gives protein to the industry. <laughs> and Yebwa says, not at all. They should kill themselves. We don't care. Are you sure you don't care? And Michael says, Bain Abu. And this one says, fake beef, Mohammed. Shut up. You see, you meet your meter. Hmm. And I love this one. It makes the game in, in, interesting. And Saint says, Bain Abu. And hashtag we bad, nobody bad. Hashtag uptown energy. And that is a... Uh, a slag for um, the man Yapuno. So those are some of the messages we've received from you on our Facebook page, but we'll go on to discuss some other things. So let's talk about the 28 February crossroads shooting incident, the incident which is celebrated every year to honor the three ex-servicemen who were killed in 1948 by the colonial police while marching to the Osu castle to present a petition to the then governor. We'll see a lot of activities this year, with the police and military bands in attendance. President Akufuado has already laid wreaths at the ceremony after the laying of wreaths, the gang and the gang asafoche and the Kolomashi groups will take over until 6 p.m. Later in the evening at 7 p.m., there will be a reenactment of the shooting incident at the Nationalism Park. This will be recalled that on the sore throat day, Saturday, 28 February 1948, before noon, a number of unarmed ex servicemen were on a march from Accra to Christianburg Castle to present a petition to the Governor General and Commander in Chief Sir Gerald Christie when they were intercepted at the Christianburg Crossroad by a contingent of armed policemen led by British Superintendent Colin. Emery. Superintendent Emery ordered the ex-servicemen to disperse, but they did not. Then he gave orders to the police to open fire on the ex-men, but that did not deter them. So, Superintendent Emery himself fired at the ex-servicemen, killing three of them. The news about the death of the gallant ex-servicemen spread rapidly, leading to a situation where the law and order broke in Accra and other parts of the country, which was popularly referred to as the 1947 disturbances. This encouraged the anti-colonial movement to press the British government to institute a committee to investigate the killings and subsequent general disorder. The committee recommended self-government for the Gold Coast and subsequently led the attainment of a political independence for the country on March 6, 1957. Now, on Joining Us Interactive this morning, we are asking you to tell us the name of the soldier who led the troop. Let's see how you're faring on Facebook, okay? So, Tech My Courage Hill says, Sir Sergeant Ajete, the rest are Corporate Tifo and Private Odati Lanto. I'm sure you, you want us to know that you know. We're asking for just one name. Hey, it reminds me of my senior high school social studies teacher. And uh, move around to Sergeant Ajete. Sergeant Ajete for sure. Sergeant Ajete. <laughs> Peter Odati, of course, not true. Uh, Private Odati and uh, ah, throwback. Uh, ah, Third block set Inu, I don't understand that. And Copra Atipo says uh, Abdul Smiler, 
but <laughs> but of course you know that we are talking about sergeant ajt so those are some of your comments to us on our facebook page and we'll take a break on this note we're back with some more here on joy news interactive with me miss g Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Joy News Interactive with me, Ms. G. And our conversation is live on uh, DSTV Channel 421, Go TV Channel 144. And we're on YouTube. We're streaming live on Joy News Live. Your comments are welcome. But before we go on, you know the whole beef with uh, Shatawale, Samini, and Stoneboy, and whichever person Shatawale gets to beef in the industry is just because Shata says he's the dancehall king, is a fight for supremacy. But we are asking, who is the real dancehall king? Who is the real king of dance hall? The question has packed a lot of debate and fueled battles between the lead contenders for the title. The latest version of the beef is between Yapono and Shatawa, like I told you earlier. So we want to read your thoughts on who the real dance hall king is. And even the disastrous Satan, no, say, Stone Boy be the king, says Sharif. He's currently ruling African dance hall. Shata is no more doing dance hall music. So he can't be the king and boy says oh okay join news yapono enter dance hall art and doesn't uh, come anywhere near shatawali if you're here to soak one man killer please do so please do fast uh life we i don't know for life we share oh uh, i don't know okay so question says even certain no stone boy is a king of not only Ghana but African dance hall and for the beef no one can ever win with a beef with the Apono hashtag Bay Nabu and uh, provisional results Shatawale versus Yapono. Can we see what the provisional result says? And I'll be glad to read this one. Very interesting. And Facebook constituency Yapono is got to um okay so this is about um eight hundred and four okay eight four six three nine six three and Shatawale gets 11. Ponobium in uh, Twitter constituency gets 70, 37,234, 39 votes. Shatawale gets just three. Instagram constituency, Ponobium gets four. And Shatawale gets 12,000. WhatsApp constituency, and the number is out. Okay, 12 million for Shatawale in the Instagram constituency. With WhatsApp, the number for Ponobium is outrageous. I'm sure I cannot even finish mentioning. Uh, yes, 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 yes. This is what we call up. Pay, 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 pay. And uh, uh, but Shatawale gets zero in the WhatsApp constituency. Where are his guy? SM fans, where are you? And Ponobium uh, in total gets 1 trillion 601 billion. 432,840 CDs, $2 million in coins. Really? What kind of currency is that? <laughs> I like this one, though. And Shatawale gets 19. 19 what? He didn't add. But that's an interesting uh, mathematics all put together by one of the commentators. And in my opinion, Shatawale is Ghana's king of dance hall, says Don Martino. Shatawale gets no side, and he's the real dance hall king. Take it or leave it. And uh, hmm, I just can't think far on this one. It's pathetic listening to what's going on. And uh, Nene says, to hell with that. That thing you call dance hall. The devil's platform. Really? Are you sure? That's somebody's source of livelihood, you know, and somebody's source of entertainment as well. Shatawale himself is a fear pono. Stoneboy is the king, says Lincoln. You can't dedicate anyone... Uh, the dance hall king, if Stone Boy is alive, okay, you can't give the, that's what you mean. Horrible premise. This has nothing to do with dance hall, especially if one isn't a dance hall artist. Shatawale is the king of dance hall, and Shatawale, of course, is the king of dance hall, says Prince Nuruddin Baumiam. <laughs> and I like this one. Issa, for, Issa Abdullah, are you sure you're following this conversation? Because you say Stan Dogbe of the NDC is a dance hall king. I wonder where he plies his street. And join us, who said, we never said that Yapono was a dance hall king. In fact, if you've been paying attention from the introduction, I never said he was a dance hall king. I said he's a rapper, he does hip life. So this, we never said that Pono was a dance hall artist. And um, 
Okay, Juventus says none of them and hashtag Sumboy Ponobium Bangi and ah, but Sister Ya is a dance hall artist. His question is asking, and he's re making reference to Sister Ya because in Chatawale's song to Ya Pono, he asks, How can a man be called Ya? You know, he asks, How can a man be? called ya yeah. so that is why this person is making reference to the fact that a sister ya yeah, a dance hall artist you know ya yeah, pono ya yeah, is normally a name for females in ghana who females who are born on thursdays in ghana and unfortunately shatawale used that <laughs> against uh shatawale used that against ya pono. i know he did some rebranding he didn't survive that so i'm sure ya pono does well for him and that's why if you like say thing and he'll reply you okay so stone boy beam nation says uh, one hat salifu and those are your comments on who the real dance hall king is here in ghana hmm and I'm sure the debate will continue in your offices, wherever you find yourself. We are still looking for the dance hall king. Do we have one already? I do not know. Okay. We all have wish lists containing what we want to achieve. Some may want to travel. Others want to get married at a young age. Guess what? A 99-year-old woman in the Netherlands decided that she didn't want to die without getting arrested. Really? So she, her niece got her arrested as a present. The woman only identified as Annie told Denise that getting jailed and booked was something she has always wanted to do but hadn't. So obliging her obliging niece called up the police in Nimingen Zuid, a city near German border, and explained that her aunt's unusual request was to get arrested. And the police were happy to oblige and drove to Annie's home last week where they picked her up, put her in the police car, drove her straight to the potty, and now that was her wish list. It was fulfilled. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have a wish list like that, but let's get to read what your wish list is. And uh, Jonas Bauer says, Get money while I'm young, marry Ellie, and see my grandchildren before I die. And uh, I posted, this is, a good, this is a kind of goof, ample uh, of uh, uh, cipher. And do the work of God well before I die is your wish, Rose Tamaklo. And Cecilia Agri says, I wish Joy FM gets serious. We are a very, very serious institution. And this is Joy News Interactive. We talk about things that are trending on social media. So you might not get it if you're not a social media freak. We're sorry about that. Wish Doomso can stop. And uh, one CD is a call to one dollar. And uh, Amadou Amidu says, this is very funny. Funny indeed. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you remember back in the day, we didn't have issues charging our phone because a lot of us were using 3310, 1100, and all the Nokia phones back in the day. We didn't even need to bother about charging because sometimes there was no application. So it lasted for three days, four days without being charged. Nokia 3310 is coming back. They are reintroducing it. How many of you want to get one? Let's read the comments on our Facebook page. You can go on our Facebook page and post your comments there as well. But do we have comments on Facebook? If we do, let's read the comments. And uh, we have a few of them. Abigail Obiniwa Esiedi says, Why can I get one to buy? I can sense the desperation in this writing. And uh, I'll send my request to them. I need 15. A lot of people need 3310 to buy. Of course, if we're going to get it on the market and you can have it as a spare phone, it's, it's, it comes in handy, you know, in this time or in this season of doom so so that will be it for today's edition of joining us interact remember it's the last day of the month but happy birthday in advance to all those who are born on the 29th of february you get to celebrate your birthday in 2020 we'll be here to wish you a happy birthday i hear my colleague matilda Wemega is one of those people so happy birthday to you matilda in the next four years but have a fantastic day up next so some more stories here on join news uh, channel on Multi TV. My name is Gloria Penenyaku. Call me Miss G. I am the Entertainment General. I'll see you tomorrow.